Questo video è offerto da Il Tavolo Italiano. Salve, bentornati. Il Tavolo Italiano è felice di presentarvi la nascita del nostro gruppo. Nel video parlerò lentamente e chiaramente in inglese mentre le parole appariranno sul video per aiutarvi ad imparare l'inglese. In questo video continuerò a raccontare la storia dell'inizio del nostro gruppo, il tablo italiano. Se volete, leggete le parole mentre io parlo. Spero che troverete questo video utile. Per favore, fateci sapere cosa ne pensate. Pronti? Cominciamo. Comprehensive in inglese, lezione 6. La storia del nostro gruppo, capitolo 6. Chapter 5 in 2009 ended with a handful of us studying Italian together, a handful of people looking at the website, and the social events continuing to grow to an average of about 15 people. Little did I know that 2010 would be a turning point for our group. 2010 started off much the same way that 2009 had ended. There were about four people studying in the group workshop. Growth of the local group continued at about a pace of 75% annually. The website got very little use, and the social events were close to the same size that they were the year before. Then we decided to do a few new things with the group. First, we decided to go back to having events every week instead of every other week. This was mostly because there were people at times who just couldn't make it to an event, meaning they could then only participate once that month. We thought that if we did something every week and varied what we did, that people would have more of an opportunity to participate. Second, I started making a few study aids to go along with our workshop, which was now on Italian grammar, and I would put it on our website where anybody could print them out for free. They were simple pages that explained, or attempted to explain, various aspects of Italian grammar, like the passato remoto tense, or pronunciation. And third, at the encouragement of a friend from Naples that managed a pizzeria near my house, I decided to pursue developing strategic partnerships with sponsors, meaning local businesses that gave discounts to the members of our group who bought a 12-month membership card. Finally, I decided to try to be more efficient on how I organized the group. In 2009, I spent $2 on the group for every one dollar that I earned. I determined to try to better manage the financial side of administrating the group. For instance, I had started tutoring a young boy in Italian, so I would do so immediately before teaching our only workshop, as they were close to one another, thus saving me money in gas, etc. For the first seven months of 2010, the only difference you could see in the group was that the number of members was growing. We had four social events a month that were just as full as the two events a month we were having. A few dozen people were improving their Italian, a couple through workshops and others through other means and there was a little more material online to help people learn Italian. Other than that, there really wasn't a lot of change, which was okay, 
as it was already a beautiful group of people. But somehow, I had a desire for us to learn about and partake of the Italian language more than we had been. But I felt grossly inadequate. In the meantime, my wife and I were planning our second trip to Europe. We were going to go to Paris for six days, Nice for two, and then on to Italy for the last six days of our trip. Wanting to be able to communicate in Italian had caused me to step up my personal study program. While we were both incredibly excited about the trip, I was at the same time really discouraged about my Italian. I could now say a lot more than before, and sometimes even say it grammatically correct. There were even a few phrases I could say rather fluidly, even if with a strong American accent. My problem was, I had an incredibly difficult time understanding Italian when it was spoken, especially by an Italian. My doubt of being able to, or worthy of, bringing the group to a new level of competency in Italian language had grown so large that I started considering dissolving Il Tavolo Italiano once we got home from Italy. So what prompted the growth of Il Tavolo Italiano even after this potential decision to give up the group? Well, I guess you will have to listen to one more episode in order to find out. Grazie mille per aver ascoltato questa serie. Come è andata? Hai capito tutto? Forse hai capito un po'? Forse non hai capito nulla? In ogni caso, non rinunciare. Puoi imparare, ma necessiti di fare pratica. Vorrei suggerirti di ascoltare questa storia fino a quando capirai tutte le parole. Inoltre, puoi trovare altro materiale sul nostro sito www.eltavoloitaliano.com È tutto gratis. Ciao, grazie mille e spero di sentirti presto.